Stoney LaRue and producer slash co-writer Gary Nicholson made for a great collaboration for Stoney's album Onward. We sat down with Stoney before his Texas music scene taping session to get some of the inside story behind the record. Sun goes down, I leave all my cares behind. There's not one moment, you're not on my mind. Onward, prior to the past four years, there had been uh, some personal battles that I'd kind of been going through. And so this is kind of a, you know, a, a leap forward, like, you know, you could see the, I'm out of the tunnel. You can see the light, this is the light now, so the light's all around, and so we're moving forward with life, is what this idea is. The angel on the front is Archangel Gabriel, and he's the, the angel of music. So I decided to put a little French horn there for our buddy David Amram, you know. Gary had said that he had been a fan uh, of the music and of my voice. He had come out and, and seen the show. I'd written with him prior with Mondo Signs. Remember, I'd done a couple of collaborations with Mondo, we wrote this song, uh, Can't Help You Say Goodbye, which is on the new record, about seven years ago. So we had a, club, a collaboration before, but we hadn't you know, revisited that or what I haven't. And I'll be here for you, for worse or for better. But I can't help you say goodbye. I just wanted to write a couple songs with him, see how it went. We ended up doing the whole project there. I stayed there, you know. So it was a, that's how he kind of came to, came to be, but you know, I, I plan on doing a lot more with him in the future. Feels like I'm being handed a baton, you know? It feels like I'm running with him. You know, I'm, I'm glad to, I don't know if I'm catching up or if, or if he is, but either way, it's good to kind of take it and go. And I know your mama tried to warn Staying at Gary's house, and uh, I, I had gone back and forth a few times to Nashville to his house until we got a record. Essentially, we go down to the basement, we write, and then we get done with probably two or three songs. We didn't make it a painful process, but we didn't make it like a workhorse process either. You know, we wanted to be productive, proactive, but not kill ourselves. You know, trying to lose the create creative process. So it came in like two and three songs at a time. So we had finished writing the album and uh, he had said, I got some guys. And uh, a lot of them came from his uh, Whitey Johnson. You know, that thing that he does and uh, he travels around doing it and he opens up for himself, which I think is genius. And I don't know if this goes on TV or not. I don't know if I'm supposed to give away that Easter egg or not, but it really confuses a lot of people because they're just like, he sounds like that other guy that was just playing. I'm like, really? And it's him, you know? Drowning in the moonlight She had me drowning in the moonlight Going down once Going down twice On the third time I swear the girl saved my life Under stars on the summer really excited to be uh, kind of performing a lot of these new songs on the on the album. Uh, one of them that really sticks out is kind of, uh, I don't know if there's a lack of a better term, but kind of like the hidden gem. It's one that I really, I really am proud of if there was one that I'd pick out because I've been asked this question a little bit and it's uh, Drowning in the Moonlight. And it has this kind of a Seeger feel. It kind of had the Seeger feel coming out and I'm really excited for people to hear it and uh, to be singing along, but as importantly, I'm excited to be playing it on stage because I don't have a song like that yet. Love me. Thought you'd want to know. I'm hopeful that it'll help people with uh, a problem explaining their depression. 
you know, depression, it's a, it's a word that's tossed around, but it's a very serious thing as well. And so those people that feel like they don't have a voice sometimes need to hear a song that says, you're heard, or I'm listening. That's the hope. So if you're living in a lie, fake it until it becomes true. You know, this is what I, this is the, what I want the persona to be. This is, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to be those things. So thank you. I appreciate it. It's good that it looks that way. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it.